Zoe is a temporary coexistence between Reishi Mushrooms and a custom-made robotic system. Zoe is created in 2022 during a one-month research at Productiehuis Theater Rotterdam. Our future cannot be one where technology is in opposition to or destruction of the natural environment. Without claiming that we know what nature wants or needs, Zoe creates a possibility of unknowns coming together. It continues into the research of the interaction within fungal mycelia networks. Scientists discover that fungi transmit information to their network using electrical impulses. To this day, they do not know what this communication entails. It is the curiosity of what happens when we do not assume the outcome or interpret it through thinking, but give it space to be with and experience it. Zoe explores the possibilities of an internal communication between its robotic system and the Reishi mushrooms. Within this seeming paradox between nature and technology, an ecosystem occurs that cares for and affects each other through sensing technologies. Zoe collects data to sensors in the environment and the mycelium of the Reishi. It also collects data to observation with cameras. It uses this data to create the internal communication between the Reishi and the robotic system. Within the system of Zoe, the Reishi and their behavior defined what the robotic system did. At the same time, the robotic system was influencing the shape of all the Reishi. As the robot arm puts the light source above the Reishi, which is defined by the system as the one that needs extra care, it also triggers the other Reishi in their behavior. Reishi is a light-sensitive mushroom, and they are growing towards the light. This made the Reishi grow towards the other Reishi that needed extra care. Over time, this created a reflection in the shape of the fruiting bodies of the Reishi, and how the other Reishi were doing in relation to each other in this ecosystem. The data are also used in the space to create a sensory experience to explore the activity of Zoe. In the space around the big cube is on every corner a tufting frame. On these frames you can see the camera view from inside of Zoe and real-time data visualizations. These were also streamed 24-7 on YouTube. The other frames are used to create data carpets. On a daily basis, we collected the data from Zoe as the input for these data carpet visualizations. The data we are getting is the Reishi in relation to their environment, to see if we could experience any correlation between them. Each ring of the visualization is connected to one part of the data, Reishi activity A and B, humidity, temperature and CO2. The rings get distorted in a ratio to the activity of the data, how often this data comes in and how much it differs from the minimum and maximum calculated daily. These tactile data visualizations are created as a way to keep exploring Zoe's outcome and the unknown communication going on in this temporary coexistence. Zoe is inspired by the concept of philosopher Rosie Bridelty. Simplified, the suggestion is to replace the idea of life understood as human life with Zoe, all forms of life which questions us about repositioning our way of taking part in this world. Instead, from the perspective of us humans being on the outside, looking to the rest as if we're not part of it, Zoe places everything, including us, in relation with the others as part of it. For Zoe to happen, we must search for a new we. What kind of new we do we experience when it is not about us?